I've criticized Jurgen Klinsmann for a long time for not being a good in-game manager. I've criticized his decisions, uh, you know, selecting Wando over Donovan to take to the 2014 World Cup. His love of Edgar Castillo, it's as bad as Bob Bradley's love of Jonathan Bornstein was. I've criticized his planning, you know, having no plan B for when Josie went down 20 minutes into the World Cup and suddenly all of our offensive plans went out the window. Um, I've criticized him kind of up and down. That said, I've mostly been willing to take his naivete as the trade-off for some of the positives he's brought. Uh, you know, our, our finding of uh, so many German dual nationals, I think uh, his name alone helped make some of those happen. His finding of Bobby Wood. The idea that we should play on the front foot uh, and not just let every other team we play dictate the game. Even if that's been more of uh, an idea, <laughs> an idea all, all alone. Uh, you know, after all our possession at the World Cup was the lowest of any U.S. team on record. That, that beats 1990 when we basically had a, a team full of college kids out there. It beats 1994 when we just removed World Cup team from our logo. I mean, this is not... Uh, the, the, some of the, the, the ideas that we've lived up to have not been uh, truly ideals. They've, they've been more maybe ideas on paper. Uh, we had the fewest shots of any team in the Gold Cup in the opening stages uh, last year. That includes Canada that didn't even score a goal. And they ended up bouncing up with a minus seven goal differential. We had fewer shots than they did. So here are my five worst moments under Jurgen Klinsmann. Number five, a 2-1 loss to Jamaica in last year's Gold Cup semifinal. Not only was it the first loss to Jamaica on home soil, it's only the second loss to Jamaica, period. By the way, that was also under Jurgen Klinsmann in 2012. It capped off an atrocious tournament. I mean, we were horrible. Like I said, fewer shots of any team in the opening rounds. It put us in the playoff against Mexico for the Confederations Cup, when we could have just moved into that spot outright by simply winning the tournament on U.S. soil. Number four, the 2 nothing loss to Guatemala in Guatemala City last March in the World Cup qualifier. Two goals in the first 15 minutes, including one from fucking Carlos Ruiz. Talk about a scumbag. And we let him score it off a goal kick. If you guys remember, the goalie, the, uh, the Guatemala's goalie just launched the ball about 70 yards. It bounced. Ruiz split our defenders and ran out of the ball and scored. That diving piece of shit. And it put us at risk of not even making the final round of qualifying. Number three. Speaking of losing to Mexico in that Confederations Cup playoff, the 3-2 loss to them in that game. We were as good in that game as they were sportsmanlike. It was terrible. Now, Bobby Wood, again, credit to Klinsman, saved us moments before the end by scoring to tie the game up and making it 2-2. Arrive Peralta, though, who, by the way, should have been off for a red card. Funny how that often happens when we play El Chitri. Scored just before, oh, just before the end of o overtime to win the game for Mexico. We don't go to the Confederations Cup, which Klinsman had made a priority. We didn't win the Gold Cup. Not a good start. Number two, speaking of Mexico scoring just before the final whistle. 2-1 loss to, Me to Mexico in Columbus. A 3-5-2 that might have been a 3-4-3 because, you know, changing formations just days before the biggest game of the year is sound coaching. It broke 15 years of Dos Aceros in Columbus. And who had to do it but fucking Rafa Marquez. On a related note, side note here, I'm hereby declaring that piece of shit of a human being, El Hitler de Football. Number one, biggest mistake, the 4 nothing loss to Costa Rica last Tuesday. After the Mexico debacle, in which Bradley and Jones coached the coach to change formations, he went right back to his foolishness. If that wasn't enough, the team quit. An American team quit. I've never seen this before. I didn't think it was possible. No matter what, what do we do but we try. We work harder than anyone. Not in that game. We completely stopped. By the 65th minute or so, we were done. With that, I hear say, Auf Wiedersehen, Jürgen. Or, in your new Californian, Deuces, bruh!